Daily readings for February 1st, St. Ignatius, Bishop and Martyr. St. Ignatius, second successor of St. Peter at Antioch, was martyred at about 107. The whole system of Catholic doctrine may be discovered at least in outline in his seven epistles from Cardinal Newman. He was sent in chains to Rome and being thrown to the beasts exclaimed, May I become agreeable bread to the Lord. From a letter to the Galatians, chapter 6. But as for me, God forbid, that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom the world is crucified to me and I to the world. From Psalms 131. O Lord, remember David in all his meekness. Have regard for our weakness, Almighty God, and since the burden of our own deeds weighs us down, let the glorious intercession of blessed Ignatius, thy bishop and martyr, protect us. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans, chapter 8. Brethren, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or hunger, or nakedness, or danger, or the sword? Even as it is written, For thy sake we are put to death all the day long. We are regarded as sheep for the slaughter. But in all these things we overcome because of him who has loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. From Ecclesiasticus chapter 44 Behold a great priest, who in his days pleased God. There was not any found like to him, who kept the law of the Most High. From Psalms chapter 20 Thou hast given him his heart's desire, and hast not withheld from him the will of his lips, for thou hast prevented him with blessings of sweetness. Thou hast set on his head a crown of precious stones. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 12. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless the grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world keeps it until life everlasting. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there also shall my servants be. For if anyone serves me, my Father will honor him. Praise be to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ. 